Arlo Parks, congratulations. You have just won a One to Watch award and I'm kind of virtually handing it to you, but congratulations. How do you feel? I feel absolutely amazing. I mean, especially in this really chaotic, strange time to be recognised in this way is really, really amazing. Yeah. And also performing at the awards because we had to be quite selective on who was <laughs> able to come. I mean, limited numbers, but you you were performing on the first ever virtual AIM Awards. Mm. How does that feel? Honestly, I think I've missed performing live so much. And I felt to be able to play with my band and to be able to still share my music with people, really, it warmed my heart. I've been looking forward to it for a little while now. And I remember we got to hang out at the AIM Awards last year as well. Yeah. Um, how are you finding it this year in comparison? I mean, I guess last year, the human contact side of things was was upped. But I mean, I think it's interesting to see kind of how far I have come since then. I mean, even since we first met, like when I was 17. Um, yeah, it just feels it feels like there's been growth and in a positive way. Amazing. Does it feel like this is a bit of a birthday present? To it you does. As well? Yes. Just turned 20. It is an amazing present. I feel like you've made the most of lockdown out of anyone that I know. Definitely. <laughs> um, and what's next for you? Because I remember we caught up on the AIM Awards socials and mm. uh, you were talking about a debut album. How is that coming along? Mm, yeah. I mean, I'm putting the finishing touches on it now. Um, I feel like it's still it's still in the stages where I'm like figuring out just the final details in terms of sonics and themes but I'm really excited to share it with people it's really the album format is something that I really look up to and enjoy and love so yeah, I'm excited and what does it mean to you now having won this award being an independent artist mm. I mean I think for me being an independent artist has always been about kind of pushing boundaries and being unapologetic with your creative vision and I feel like with the team around me, Transgressive PS, everyone has always kind of supported and uplifted what I want to do creatively and never tried to change me. And that's a beautiful thing. Well, I know that everyone at home is going to have an incredible time watching your performance and you will also have an incredible time watching it back with your team. Um, next year, you might be walking not a virtual pink carpet, but the <laughs> actual carpet uh, in the footsteps of some others. Who do you look up to uh, independent artist wise? Oh my goodness, there are so many. Angel Olsen, um, Radiohead, Twigs, Phoebe Bridges, the list, the list is endless. Of yeah. course, <laughs> and Phoebe Bridges name checked you to me without yes. me even prompting it at all. <laughs> I love that. That was amazing. Do you think you'd ever work with her? I mean, please, yes, please. <laughs> I mean, it's on the record now, isn't it? A hundred percent. Arlo Parks, winner of the One to Watch Award 2020 in association with BBC Music and Shooting. Congratulations. I'm so honoured to give it to you as well. Oh, thank you very much, Jess.